I'd never met anybody who actually put Jesus above everything else. And here was this whole slew of guys. And then one of them ended up sitting down and talking with me. And it was, and it was, uh, I just ended up pouring my guts out about all of my hypocrisy. And it was just so matter of fact, you know, like, all right, well, you should stop doing that and start doing this. And have you ever done a quiet time before? No, all right, well, let me show you how to do one of those. And we went over and we read. And, and then he um, happened to be stationed about five hours away from where I was going to school. And he started making a drive uh, every, every eh, maybe every two weeks or so. Uh, and he only had two or three months until he was gonna deploy. And he came down and was investing time in me and other cadets too, for that matter. And so he was, he really kick-started, I think, uh, what, what it meant for me to take Jesus seriously. I was invited to a women's barbecue and um, it was a NAV event and that was the first time that I was ever challenged to read my Bible and that was the first time I ever saw what true fellowship looked like. She agreed to meet with me every morning, come to my barracks um, before my morning PT and um, she did. Like I felt like these people were like family wanting to take care of me and I didn't understand why um, but I trusted them. They want to see you uh, grow into maturity uh, with Jesus Christ. That personal interest has, has really helped me. It's really inspired me. They really uh, uh, built into my thinking that spending time with Jesus is the most important thing I'll ever do during the day. All the things that NABS is based on, the discipleship and the verse memory and just the very strong self-discipline that it takes to have all those things and to have your daily quiet time and to make God such a priority, I think just really gives you the strength that you need to get through deployment. Once we got deployed, that was when I really just got this hunger. I needed to know who God was. I attribute that strong desire to um, girls like Katie and the other women who invested in me while I was still at Fort Campbell. And then um, shortly after that, the you know I got baptized and um, kept getting into the Word and just kept growing from there. Folks that are reached while they're in the service, if we can help them walk with Christ and learn how to share their faith and live out their faith Effectively, they're going to take that with them to other bases that they're assigned to, but also into other segments of society where they're going to represent Christ and, and reach others. I think part of why Navigators is a great group because it uses the people where they are rather than needing them to get out and then become missionaries officially and then go back. You know, we are missionaries exactly where we are. I am an ambassador of Christ that you know, yeah, there's a mission at hand to win the war in Afghanistan, but Afghanistan is just a symptom of a greater spiritual war that's being waged. I think God prepared me my whole life to go to West Point and then to commission and to now serve Him in this specific target group to uh, advance the kingdom in the military. Yeah, we're excited and just to be part of the uh, chain that was started. Uh, somebody was helping us in our relationship with Christ, that we're in a position uh, to do the same thing for the soldiers at Fort Lewis, where we could help them, the uh, female soldiers as well as male soldiers, in their walk with Christ and point them towards Jesus.